Keisha bought two yards of felt to make some puppets. Tanya bought six yards of felt. Each yard of felt costs the same amount. How much did the girls spend on felt in all? Think. What math do I need to use to solve this problem? I need to show what I know and then choose the needed operations. Think. How can I model with math? I can use the math I know to solve the problem. I can find and answer any hidden questions. I can use diagrams and equations to represent and solve this problem. Why would you use a bar diagram or an equation to represent the math in this problem? Bar diagrams and equations show how the numbers in the problem are related. Here's my thinking. I will use bar diagrams and equations. This problem has a hidden question. How much felt did the girls buy in all? The equation 2 plus 6 equals what? And the bar diagram represent the number of yards of felt bought. 2 plus 6 equals 8. The girls bought 8 yards of felt. So, I need to find the cost of 8 yards at $2 per yard. I can use the equation 8 times $2 equals what and the bar diagram to represent how much the girls spent. Eight times two dollars equals sixteen dollars. The girls spent sixteen dollars. Now you know how to model with math to solve a problem with hidden questions. There are many different ways to model the work that you do. When you read a problem, think about the way that makes the most sense to you and would help you solve a problem. Let's try one together. You have three bags of marbles. In each bag are one red marble, four yellow marbles, and two blue marbles. How many marbles do you have? For this problem, we could use a bar diagram, cubes, or counters. Let's try a bar diagram. First, we can show how many marbles are in each bag. One red, four yellow, and two blue. Each bag has seven marbles in it. Now we know we have two more bags of seven marbles, so we can use this bar diagram to show the whole and the parts. This bar diagram shows three groups of seven marbles. Three times seven equals 21 marbles altogether. Especially in multi-step problems, it can be helpful to know all of the math tools you can use. When you start a problem, think about the tools you could use and pick one that you think fits the problem. You can always check your work using a different tool, too.